Guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing. We're talking about this little secret tool that we've got inside of the Concept2 monitor. Um, not to make this complicated because this is just a really simple little tool and it really takes um, into consideration every stroke that you're taking. So what I wanted to introduce you to is how this little thing works and really what you can do with it. So at the end of the day, our goal is just to optimize connection to the machine. Um, and if we want to really distill that down, it's simply make you move faster. Right? And to move faster, you've got to have good connection. So if we're looking for optimal connection while we're rowing, or while we're using the Concept2 machine, our goal is to try and really lengthen the stroke and be under connection the whole time, meaning that I never have a moment where the handle moves without tension, or sometimes you may have felt it as the handle moves, and then you grab tension halfway through the stroke. The goal is that you have tension all the way through the stroke, and that you're accelerating, accelerating all the way through. So what it looks like is that early on in the stroke, you press through the feet, you get the whole foot connected, and then you're gonna start pushing and accelerating through the entire stroke. Now what you're gonna see over here is a good force curve. Now you find the force curve from the main monitor, you just turn it on uh, and start rowing. You can go to just row, and then the second button down on the right hand column is going to bring you the force curve screen. And it's just a little graph on the bottom of the screen, and every stroke you're gonna see this curve come up. And what it's measuring is really just your time under tension during the stroke. So we are trying to optimize and, and stay under load for as much of the stroke as possible. And what that looks like is this ideal bell curve that we have over here. Now, there are a lot of different variables that you could have during the stroke. And this, these all really come from disconnects. Um, places where there's an error in the movement pattern. And you can see those over here, right? So we've got some poor force curves happening where there's a disconnect of tension on the handle and it results in this kind of weird, funky force curve. So our goal, stay under tension and create a haystack so that this force curve spins up, stays under tension and then tapers off, but it's a nice symmetrical force curve. The goal being to stay under load accelerate and stay connected the whole time. So that is our force curve tool. It's a fantastic little thing. You can row with it all the time. You can use it just as a tool for yourself or for your athletes, but it's a little hidden feature a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people don't use because they just don't understand it. So that's our goal. Make it simple for you. Distill it down, understand this machine so it can be a great little tool. Guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing. Signing off, we'll see you on the other side. Make sure that you sign up for the Dark Horse newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, in which you will get our latest blog article and video every Tuesday in your inbox. And sign up for the Dark Horse crew where you are gonna get access to our community, programming, coaching, uh, e-content, all of our e-books that we have, you guys will have access to once you sign up for the crew. All right, guys, we will catch you on the other side.